Hi everyone, I'm Tootsie Babe and I've already filmed the video before the intro and today I'm going to be painting this jumbo cake squishy that I took. Yes, I said took. I work in an arcade, this was in the arcade, so I took it. Let's get started! After giving the squishy a wipe down because I had been using it as a footrest, I go in with my white matte fabric paint to lay down a good base for the squishy. Pretty much anything I didn't think would cover up easily with the other colors got covered in white. My idea for this squishy is to make it look like the American flag, with the sprinkles on top representing the stars and being painted white, while the frosting that the sprinkles are on top of is the blue. The layers of the cake on the inside will be red separated by white layers of frosting. Other cakey details will be added later. Now I thought the way the manufacturers painted this originally was stupid. It was really stupid. Look at the amount of room there is for the textured cake part that I'm painting red right now. It's a lot, right? But they decided to just put one pathetic little strip along the whole thing. Not to mention they chose poop green for one of the colors. Yeah, this is a really good design, guys. What a nice looking rainbow of color. The red covered all of these colors nicely though. After the second coat, you couldn't really see paint underneath. I painted the bottom of the squishy red. I didn't think that the squishy was going to be seen very much. So any color on the edge or close to it was just brought down underneath to make it look uniform. It took several coats before I could completely cover up the sprinkles on the top because fabric paint goes on very thin and it's difficult to glob on in a way that makes it look smooth with the surface. But once all of the sprinkles are completely white, it's time to work on my favorite part, the blue. I hope you enjoy this little montage. My first idea for the swirls on the back of the cake was to have a pastel blue and red half and half swirl, but that looked really, really bad, so I ripped it all off and tried again. I thought that instead of some complex mixed swirl, I went in with a solid pattern that went through each of the three colors. I used a mix of matte and shiny paint when doing the swirls. You can't notice it with the white or the blue, but it does have a noticeable difference with the red. So if you see the shade of red change a little bit throughout the video, that's why. When I started working on the bottom swirls, I found an air bubble that had somehow opened up. I stuffed it full of pieces that I had cut off of other squishies and used Gorilla Glue to hold it all together. It makes this part of the squishy really hard and bulky, I thought that if I covered it in enough paint, it wouldn't be noticeable and would blend into the rest of the squishy. I went ahead and painted the rest of the swirls to let the paint dry and also let myself get used to how it looked. It was still funky, so I started trimming away at my patch job without opening the hole. It's at this point that I noticed that the red paint had not fully dried and I gave myself a heart attack when I finally noticed it. 
It was an easy fix though, and we're back to painting. I wanted to make this part as flush with the rest of the squishy as I could. After I trimmed it so much, I decided that I should go in with the paint bottle itself and try to sculpt it with the paint. There, that looks so much better. The back of the squishy was kind of bothering me. It's just a big blank space and I felt compelled to put something there. You don't usually have a drawn picture on the back of a cake, but this is a squishy, so I thought it couldn't hurt to do whatever I wanted. So I tried to paint the Statue of Liberty. Now, all of our problems may have started when I decided to paint the statue without sketching it first. I thought that since I was going for a more minimalist look, that it would be fine without a sketch. But I was wrong. I started slapping greens on this thing thinking there wouldn't be any consequences. I wish I could tell you to just trust the process and this thing will eventually look better, but it doesn't get better. This just sucks. This looks terrible. So I'm wiping it off and not trying it again. I'm leaving it just like it is and I'm done. Here is the final product of this cake squishy. This video took me a ridiculous amount of time to make, but I hope you enjoyed. I know this video wasn't as long as my previous videos, but I'm working on making more videos more efficiently. So please look forward to that in the future. If you like this video and you would like to see more of my art, you can follow me on Instagram, link in the description. If you want to see more content like this in the future, be sure to leave a like and a comment so that I know that this is what you're into. Also, I don't have a Twitter anymore. I know in my previous videos I said I have a Twitter and I have it linked, but it doesn't exist anymore. I deleted Twitter. Twitter sucks. You should delete it too. Twitter sucks. Kill it. So don't look for me on Twitter. At all. I hate it. And you should hate it too. Everyone hates it. Anyway. Thank you all for watching, and... Bye.